Pythonid Efteling is one of the most interesting Vacoma loopers in the world, primarily because of its history. The coaster originally opened in 1981, but the version you can ride today is much different. In an age where parks are more likely to demolish aging attractions and replace them with something new, Efteling took the unprecedented step to fully retract this steel coaster a few years ago. But was it ultimately worth it? Find out in this review of Python. The coaster originally opened in 1981, and it was significant for both the park and manufacturer. For Efteling, it was their first ever roller coaster. The ride signified a transition adding more daring mechanical rides to their park. And today, Efteling features six different roller coasters. For Vacoma, this is one of their first roller coasters. It would be their first to invert riders four times, and it would become the longest coaster in mainland Europe when it opened. Plus, it was the first coaster this Dutch manufacturer would install in their homeland. Vacoma's headquarters is located roughly an hour from Efteling. Python suffered through a lot of red tape to even open. Locals complained about noise and possible increases in traffic. Environmentalists tried to get the ride's permits withdrawn. While the coaster opened in 1981, locals continued to complain about noise this coaster created, particularly when Efteling extended their operating hours further into the evening. After nearly three and a half decades of operation, Python was showing its age. The old steel was deteriorating, and the layout was showing its age. Python was designed before computer-aided design was available for roller coaster manufacturing, and it showed in the ride's jerky transitions. Compare that to something like the modern Baron 1898 in the same park that was glass smooth. Efteling decided to spend nearly five and a half million US dollars to renovate Python. That sum could have been used on an all-new ride, and a substantial one too. While this coaster may not be special to most coaster enthusiasts, the ride had a special place in the hearts for families who have visited Efteling for decades. It was the first inverting coaster for many, and it was a source of pride given how historic the ride was when it first opened and because it was of Dutch descent. And these funds would ensure the coaster's longevity for many decades to come, so new riders could also make it their first looping coaster. Python originally used Vacoma's track that was identical to Arrow's old track. But by 2018, Vacoma no longer used this track style. The last time they used this track was for Disneyland Paris' Rock and Roller Coaster back in 2002. So Efteling sourced the job to CSM Steel Structures. This Belgian company replaced all the track between the bottom of the first drop all the way through the brake run. But the ride wasn't exactly cloned. CSM made some adjustments to the ride's profiling to smooth out the elements and transitions. This is why Python, while using the original layout's footers, has some funky looking supports. The track is in slightly different spots. And the track is also beefier now. If you watch a POV, you can see where the track switches on the first drop. New trains weren't ordered as part of this refurbishment, because Efteling had previously replaced the trains twice. Python originally opened with Arrow trains, but they switched to Kumbach trains in 2005. These trains still featured over-the-shoulder restraints though, so Efteling swapped them out with Vacoma trains in 2011 that featured vest restraints. These harnesses featured soft padding that hugged your chest. Compare that with the old over-the-shoulder restraints that were relatively hard and constantly smashing the heads and necks of riders. These trains eliminated headbanging, and the 2018 track replacement eliminated the rise in perfect profiling. Ever since Python opened in 2018 from its refurbishment, it has been one of the smoothest coasters in the world. It almost feels unnatural how flawlessly it tracks. And the white paint looks super fresh, although appearance has never been an issue for this ride, or any at Efteling for that matter. Python usually has one of the longer lines at Efteling. It has hovered around the half hour mark in my visits to the park. The ride seems to always run two trains, and each one seats 28 riders per train. There are seven cars with two rows of two, and the crew loads these trains pretty quickly. These Vacoma over-the-shoulder restraints are a breeze to check, so this ride doesn't really stack. There are two possible alternatives to the standby queue though. One, the park has experimented with a virtual queue system on this coaster, but I have no experience using it. Two, the ride features a single rider line. Now usually these will save you a lot of time, However, I would be very careful about using it based on my experience. When I used it, the grouper was loading standby queue guests front to back. 
Whenever there was an odd-numbered group, they weren't calling someone from the single rider line. Instead, they would keep loading back to front. When another odd-numbered group was pulled, they'd pair them with a prior odd group. Basically, single riders had to hope the final group was odd-numbered, otherwise they'd be out of luck. I'm not sure if I just got lucky the day I visited with the particular groupers, but the standby queue was a little faster that day. And looking at queue times, I don't think this was an anomaly. The average wait time for Python standby and single rider lines are nearly identical. Python is a coaster where I don't have a preference where I sit. The elements feel identical across the whole train. Before going into the ride experience, I want to note that I've only experienced Python ever since it's retracking. However, I did ride Shaman at Gardaland, which is a clone. That ride has also had much of its track replaced between 2020 and 2021, but I rode Shaman with its original Vokoma track back in 2019. So this allowed me to see how Python would have been running before the retrack, and how CSM tweaked the ride's feel. Once secured, you turn 180 degrees out of the station and descend the 95 foot or 29 meter tall lift hill. At the top, you again turn 180 degrees and then you head down the 72 foot or 22 meter tall first drop. The straight drops on these Arrow and Vacoma loopers typically give a nice pop of airtime in the back, but that was sadly missing on Python. This wasn't lost as part of the refurb, especially because CSM did not touch the top of the drop. It just never existed. This drop then leads into back-to-back -back vertical loops. These loops are fairly forceful, and just a little less forceful than the ones in arrow loopers. That's followed by a hop into the far turnaround. Shaman gave a quick pop of airtime here, and I suspect Python used to as well. But today on Python, the transition has been super smoothed out, so that airtime pop is unfortunately gone. But the entrance of the turn is smoother, so it's a fair trade-off, I guess. That turn is smooth and forceless, and then you navigate back-to-back -back corkscrews. These again are smooth, but otherwise not really noteworthy. They don't offer hang time, nor are they super disorienting. You then have a final helix. This 540 degree helix has some decent force to it, and it leads into the brake run, which ends the 2,460 foot or 750 meter long coaster. So what would I rate Python? I would give this Vacoma looper a 5 out of 10. This is an average looping coaster. I like the vertical loops and helix, but the rest of the ride feels a bit sterile. Some of the imperfections in the old Arrow and Vacoma layouts that could give pops of airtime or laterals were designed out by the retrack and reprofiling. I ultimately do appreciate how smooth the coaster is though. The lack of headbanging and fluidity of the layout are impressive. And that is why this ride is a great candidate for someone's first looping coaster. I also acknowledge this ride's history and importance to the park, but it's probably my least favorite major coaster at Efteling, and I prefer many other looping coasters out there to this one. So those are my thoughts on Python and Efteling. What are your thoughts on this Vacoma Looper? Let me know what you think about this coaster, especially if you rode it both before and after the refurbishment. Especially if you rode it both before and after the refurb. If you enjoyed this review, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you considered subscribing because there'll be a lot more roller coaster enemies and park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.